What is going on, Lonely Gang? It's your boy Brennan bringing you guys an amazing update for everything going on in the LDL for TLTPG. That's right, the Lonely Trainer Pokemon Gang's Lonely Draft League is rounding up another season as we enter the finals of Season 6, where we have Coach Mark versus Coach Squid. Both of them have fought throughout the entire season. Mark actually picking up a victory over Blazing Squid in the regular season are now facing off once again for the finals. It's going to be an awesome matchup there, guys, as it's Mark's first time to the finals of the LDL, while Squid, being a seasoned pro of the LDL, is hoping to pick up his second season title. Not since Season 1 has Blazing Squid won a title, and no one else in the LDL has won two seasons. So, will we see the new guy trump over the seasoned pro, or will we in fact see the Blazing Squid obtain his second season title? That is all going on next week, you guys, but for now, the main purpose of this video is to inform you guys of what is going to be going on after the season ends. Everyone probably already knows, or is probably thinking to themselves, is LDL going to be jumping right into Season 7, or is there going to be something else for the time being while, ev while things are thought out for Season 7? Well, I am here to happily announce that the LDL is officially announcing the L LDL Little Cup Off-Season Tournament. Or not tournament, just off-season. It's going to be very, very fun, you guys, as not a lot of people play Little Cup, and the fact that we are playing Little Cup is going to show just how well we can adjust to different types of Pokemon, because I will say this right now, up front and forward, this is a non-competitive off-season part of the league. This is just something to bypass a little bit of time so we can prepare for Season 7 to make sure that Season 7 is the best season that we bring you guys as far as the last. But... A couple things to go over. Quite a few things to go over, actually. This LDL Little Cup offseason is based around the UCL Little Cup offseason. If you guys don't know what the UCL is, it's just another online YouTube league that has done the exact same that we have done, but they've done it first. And so a lot of the format is based, if not actually copied and pasted directly from the UCL. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the UCL, definitely do. I love their league. Hoping to see a Season 3 coming from them sometime soon. But, like I said, this is coming from their setup, their format. And so because of that, we have four different tiers for Little Cup. And going over those tiers right now, we have the A tier. Now here in the A tier, you guys, we have the cream of the crop, the top of the heat, the all-around top of the line Pokemon for Little Cup. We have amazing stuff in there like Ghastly, Ponyta, uh, Alola Meowth. We have Bidoof in there. You want to know why Bidoof is there? Bidoof is amazing. Let me tell you what. We got Carvana, Dupider, Diglett, so many amazing mons that really put in the best effort or even have the greatest bulk out of all the other mons in this entire little, in 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 this entire just format. These Pokemon reign supreme. Now, I will say, unfortunately, the Shadow Tag ob uh, ability that makes uh, Gothita and Why Not so powerful is going to be banned this season, unfortunately. Uh, however, a lot of more fun surprises are going to be allowed, such as the Drought of Vulpix, for sure. And, of course, all hidden abilities and all uh, any abilities are allowed to be used as well. But, for the A-tier picks, each coach will be getting two a tier picks and now moving on we are going to be moving on to the B tier and as you guys can see the B tier is by far the largest tier that we have I believe there is over 100 mons on this page that you do see before you and in the B tier while these Pokemon were not able to make it to the A tier these Pokemon right here still can put in so so much work we have the ratata with the guts ability we got the bulk of the bulbasaur we got the power of the chest pin we got the bulk of the clamp pearl we got the power and the head smashing abilities of the kranidos if i'm not mistaken maybe not oh yeah there he is <laughs> so b tier is filled with so so many mods there's so many awesome there's so much awesome potential and each coach will be given 
four B tier mods. And following up, we are heading into the C tier. The C tier doesn't have as many mons as the B tier, but still there's quite a lot of amazing mons uh, sitting around here, such as Hapini, Zerua, the Patrat, Makuhita. These mons, while they may not be uh, up there with the B and A tiers, these mons can really help round off a team as, you know, a lot of good Pokemon, like I said, are just sitting around here. I mean, we, got, we have Chimchar and Mudkip down here. As well as Trico. I mean, come on. These are some amazing mods, if you ask me. Uh, and last but not least, as oh, before we move on, each coach will be giving will be given three C tier mods for the Little Cup off season. And heading into the last tier, we are heading into the D tier mods. Now, these mods may not have a lot going for them, if anything. But however, we wanted to make sure that all the Little Cup mods were included here. And so. This special D tier was made specifically for them, and because we don't want the teams to be fully uh, fully made up of these D tier mods, because some of them honestly cannot do that much, if anything, like I've said, each coach will be given one D tier mon. Now, you are probably thinking to yourself, given these mons? That is right, given these mons. Because this whole entire league is based around the LD, uh, the UCL op, uh, Little Cup offseason. There is no draft. I mean, there, I mean, there is a draft, but there is no... There is no choosing of Mons for the Little Cup offseason. Our good buddy Matt up in Canada has been typing his fingers away and coding things up for us to give us a Pokemon randomizer that will specifically choose the mons for you so when your turn is up you you will receive all of your mons at the exact same time your two a tier mons your four b tier mons your three c tier mons and your one d tier mon to make up almost your entire team now i say almost because we're going back one more step i kind of lied to you guys you will have the opportunity to draft one Pokemon. One Pokemon. Only from the B, C, and D tier as your team captain. So definitely choose wisely because that is the only Mon that you will be able to draft. And after that, it will be heading straight into the randomizer where you will receive the rest of your Mons. It's a very interesting concept, and the fact that it's randomized helps take that competitiveness out of Little Cup. And you have to be, you have to work with what you're with with what you got. So if you have a team full of Grass types, well, guess what? You're gonna have to f have to work with a team of Grass types. If you have a bunch of Water types, guess what? You're gonna have a bunch of teams. I mean, a bunch of uh, Pokemon with Water type, and you have a Water team. That's just the way it's going to go. One team might have the best mons, and another team might have the worst mons. But guess what? It's all for fun. It's off-season. We gotta just relax, you guys. We just gotta relax and have some fun. Now, on top of that, how the rest of the se how the season will work as far as who faces who, and how long is this season, etc., etc. We are hoping to gather 16 coaches this season. I believe we already have eight of those coaches signed up. So if you guys are really interested in wanting to sign up for the LDL Little Cup Offseason League, definitely make sure you guys sign up because spots are limited. But with 16 teams, that will allow us to break everyone into groups of four for four different divisions. That being the Kanto, the Johto, the Hoenn, and the Sinnoh divisions. And in each of these divisions, for the first six weeks of the league, you will be facing off against your fellow division mates not once, but twice through the season. That's right. You will be facing off against your other three division mates two times throughout the season, uh, accumulating into six weeks of regular season. And at the end of those six weeks, whoever has the higher differential, I mean the higher... Uh, the higher record as well as differential if it comes to, down to a tie will have will move on to the semi-finals where they will face off against their opponent and then on to the finals for a total of eight weeks for the entire little cup season 
The reason for this, you guys, is because we want to make sure that this offseason doesn't go too long and we want to put ourselves on our own time limit to make sure that we can go directly into LDL Season 7, but we also want to make sure we have enough time to plan everything out accordingly. But what are your guys' thoughts on the LDL Little Cup offseason? It's sounding so much fun to me. I've been I want you guys to know, I've been trying to get this to work and I've been trying to get Little Cup off season going since after season one since after season one almost two and a half years ago i am happy as all can be for this to happen and i hope you guys are too once again if you guys are interested in signing up for the for the ldl little cup off season spots are limited and we would love to have you because who knows you might want to join us for ldl season seven but that's going to wrap it up here for me, you guys. Thank you so much for listening and watching along with me. And you know what? I'll see you guys at the start of Little Cup season.